The last time Cranberry Representative Daryl Metcalf got into hot water over his views on homosexuality was during a 2014 meeting of the state government committee. They were discussing an issue involving same-sex marriage, and Representative Michael O'Brien of Philadelphia wouldn't stop talking. Security, please remove Representative O'Brien from this hearing. Mr. Chairman, you do not have the authority to remove a single member of this committee. I have the authority. Go check with the speaker. Then last December, there was an incident when State Representative Matt Bradford tried to make a point by touching Metcalf's arm during a meeting. I, I hear yeah, I understand there's some hard feelings with Penn. Representative Bradford, yes. just look, I'm a heterosexual, I have a wife, I love my wife, I don't like men as you might, but don't stop touching me all the time. <laughs> so I keep your hands to yourself. Like, if you want to touch somebody, you have people on your side of the aisle that might like it. I don't. The latest fight erupted between Metcalf and Democrat Chris Rabb. Rabb filed a letter this week with House officials claiming he felt threatened during a recent argument with Metcalf. Friday, Metcalf lashed back on Facebook, calling Rabb a lying Philadelphia liberal Democrat legislator playing the victim while he is actually the perpetrator. In the same post, Metcalf called former Democratic Representative Leslie Acosta a convict and Democrat Brian Sims a lying homosexual. Sims fired back on Twitter, calling Metcalf a gaslighter who threatens people and then backs down and claims victimhood when you're called out. The social media fight may be over for now. A few minutes later, Sims reported that Metcalf had blocked him on Twitter. Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.